If you want your sales and marketing teams to be efficient, you need to automate your lead routing. This feature inside HubSpot will automatically distribute incoming leads to an appropriate salesperson based on predefined values. And this is crucial for businesses because it ensures a faster, more efficient response to leads, helps prevent leads from falling through the cracks, and ultimately leads to better customer experiences and increased sales opportunities. So in this video, I'll show you how to set up everything step-by-step -step in HubSpot, so let's get to it. So I'm gonna walk you through a couple different ways where you can set up lead routing inside HubSpot using the workflows tool. And so here, this option is great if you have various qualifying criteria in your form. I talked about that in another video on how to build a lead qualification process using forms in HubSpot, so be sure to check that out. So in this workflow, we have the lead form as the trigger, and note that this is a contact enrollment triggered workflow, so you're gonna to wanna to click that when you're setting up the workflow. Then we have if-then branches based on what they submit in the form. So if my qualifying criteria is based on monthly revenue, I could set if-then branches based on their responses and then route it to specific people. So this is great if you have specific sales team members that are responsible for territories or company sizes or revenue sizes or employee count or whatever that qualifying criteria is. This way you can use if then branches to route it to the exact person as soon as the person converts. So as you can see in this, if they put 10 to 50,000 of revenue per month, I'm routing the contact across this team. So to add the routing action, you'll go into the actions here and hit rotate record to owner. And note that in order to do this, you must have a sales professional license to do this within workflows. And then to have access to workflows, you need to have a marketing professional license. So then after it routes it to them, I then add a notification to notify the new contact owner who is the sales rep to then reach out accordingly. And then the same logic applies with the rest of the branches. So here you can see if it's 50,000, I'll route it to a different team, which will then set a notification to a different contact owner. And if they submit something like less than 10,000 or whatever that disqualifying criteria is, I can have an automated email get sent to that person to say, you're not a good fit for us right now. Here's a couple resources from our company that you can review. And then when there's a better fit, we'd be happy to work with you. And one thing to add in the none met here is if you have an operations person on your team or you're working with a marketing or sales ops agency such as mine, here you wanna maybe add in something like an internal notification if the workflow isn't going properly. So if none of these things are met, then something probably went wrong from a routing and a data standpoint. So you wanna just set an internal notification to your operations person within here to say, review the contact that went through the workflow and resolve any potential issues. This is a great way to get very proactive on any workflow or operational issues within HubSpot. Hey, real quick, if your business uses HubSpot but has absolutely no idea what they're doing, I will streamline your HubSpot to get clean data, increase conversions, and save your team 20 plus hours per week. So if that's interesting to you, click the first link in the description. All right, that's it, back to the video. So the second way that I wanna show you how to set up lead routing is a bit similar, but it's much more direct. So if you have one team that manages all inbound leads, you can apply the same rotate record to owner action and then route it across the entire team. So this will divide up all of those leads evenly across those teams. And then from here, the only trigger is just the, the lead form sample, sends them an intro notification, and then this one has a task for them to follow up with that contact. Remember that the first hour is is very important when you're following up with inbound leads. Even reducing that time to 30 minutes or 20 minutes can make a huge difference in getting that person into a book meeting and then ultimately a closed one deal. So that's everything. If you have any questions related to HubSpot, drop a comment below and I'll make sure to create a video about it. Once again, if you need someone to streamline your HubSpot operations, click the first link in the description. Please like this video if you found it helpful and be sure to subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.